Hello, welcome to 1995Batman.com. Today we are looking at this, the Batwing from Batman Forever by Kenner. This is one of the uh, the three vehicles that they made. Um, yeah, it's a humongous thing. Let me just stand so far back. I'm having to lean over the camera to record this. Um, so yeah, it's got foldable wings, so you can fold it out and have it exactly as it sort of looked in the film. It's a pretty good recreation, obviously. You know, they haven't been able to fit any kind of light up features in the thing, so it's just kind of like uh, blue, silvery paint. Um, and the wings fold down like that, so you can turn it into sort of like a, a sort of skiff, kind of hovercrafty kind of thing, I guess. Um, what else? The wings also break off so that you can recreate the part of the film when uh, obviously it turns into the bat sub. So the two wings just break off there. The uh, this kind of wing at the top comes off as well. And then there you have your bat sub. Unfortunately, you cannot fire Batman out the front as they did in the film, to the shame. But you do have a little missile here, kind of underneath. And the button for that is just here. So you can just sort of, yep, fire that one out. Uh, what else? So obviously the canopy flips up, as you would imagine. A um, little Batman in there, put the Power Beacon Batman, it didn't come with a Batman figure. Uh, those are all sold separately, as always. Um, but the way you get him in, and I think Kenneth did this with a lot of their um, vehicles, is the whole kind of, whoa, the whole interior sort of comes out and is its own mini vehicle as well, kind of like a, I don't know, hovercrafty sort of bike kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of cool, and it's a nice way of just being able to fit the figure in without having to just cram it and, you know, break the figure trying to get it in. This bit kind of pulls off to help you get the figure in. It's got a little seat belt there, if you can see. Kind of uh, just a clip that kind of goes around his waist. So that can clip back on. That fits back into there with a nice satisfying clip. That fits down for once. The canopy actually fits and Batman <laughs> fits inside without his ears popping out the top. That clips back on there. And that clips back on there. And I don't know where the spoiler went. Oh, no, here it is. So let's just have a quick look around the back, the underneath, which is a little disappointing. Obviously this they've done kind of nicely, it's a solid piece, but this is just, you, it's almost like you can see the vacuum forming where the, where the actual piece of plastic was kind of moulded into shape. I wish they'd done something underneath. I know it's not like the end of the world, but it would have just been nice to kind of finish off the, the vehicle. It feels a bit unfinished with that kind of showing. Um, but all in all, it's a really cool vehicle. It's humongous, like really humongous. Probably the biggest that I think I've seen any Batman vehicles. Um, and it also fits in very nicely with the Bat Cave playset that Kenner did, um, which I'm going to get to reviewing at some point. It's humongous. I don't know where I'm going to find the size to do that. Uh, it kind of hooks on really nicely in a way similar to the the way it was kind of hung from the. Uh, the top of the cave in the film, um, but yeah, that is the that is the bat wing from Kenner. Uh, I definitely pick this up if you can. Obviously, just be careful if you get it loose that you need to get the uh, need to make sure the missile is with it. But other than that, it's all sort of uh, yeah, it's all just a very cool, humongous uh, play vehicle, and I definitely recommend it.